Once a day, every day, we turn on the machines and we stop talking an hour from now. We're going to stop. Thereabouts. Yeah. It's uh, <laughs> sa- Sa- Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, Saturday. You're on your... Oh, Mandy's on the phone. Mandy, you're on the phone. Who's on the phone? I'm Craigslist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ross and Craigslist on the phone. You ever done that Craigslist stuff? Craigslist I got some good stuff from cool. Craigslist. Yeah. Maybe we should put something on Craigslist. Oh, yeah, we yeah, should. Yeah, we should Craigslist something out of the studio. Out of the studio for. We'll sell it for way more than it's worth. To see if we, we can get it. We should eBay stuff out of the studio. I once, uh, yeah, thought like, about. There's p- shit in here that would fetch a pretty penny somewhere. Putting. Somewhere in Minnesota, somebody wants this shit. Or, like, uh, you know how people put the. Like, people they don't like, they put their name in the bathroom? Yeah. And they say, like, call for a good time or whatever, <laughs> and then they get, like, creepy calls. And they're like, what, what are you calling me for? And they're like, I want to be, I want to, from the bathroom, or whatever. But I was sometimes thinking about doing that for the program. Just put the program number in the bathroom. Say, call for a good time. And we're like, hello, we're on TV. And then I thought, they thought, we were going to have a sexual good time. And no, we're just having a, 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 not a, a TV good time, like a regular good time. We should start a campaign to just plaster the number for this show in every bathroom. Yeah, just in the a, county. Uh huh. <laughs> just around. <laughs> I get to get a flyer. Like I'm, I'm gonna, gonna take start a, doing it. But with no context, just like or or for a good time. Like, uh, call this it. number. I'm I'm sure there's one or two people out there in in the county though that num know this number three six zero eight three six four three eight four. And they're them. like, hmm, I know that number. And what are they gonna do when they see the number though? I mean, they, that's okay. They can know the number. Well, so I have. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't know. Maybe people would be like, I'm so offended for this person, I'll just grab some, you know, like a big fat Sharpie or white out or something. They're gonna, oh, they're going to fix it. They're going to think, think it's spring. I, I don't even know if I've seen too many of the numbers in the bathroom because I might have to call them. I, I don't know if that's maybe this is like a, a fake thing. Yeah. Not with the, um, yeah, there's on the internet, maybe on that Craigslist thing instead of on the, in the bathroom. But maybe we should put the phone number on Craigslist for a good time, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, put it on the personals. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> you ever, ever try to call any of those bathroom people? I never did. No, I, I never, never got that desperate. <laughs> oh, yeah, every day. <laughs> I've mean, done it every day of my life. I don't think you would be calling them for for real. So you just want to maybe call them and just be like, who are you? Maybe if you guys, if, you, if we could find, maybe we should find them and then call them on the program, too. So if you go to the bathroom... Maybe oh. viewers and listeners too. If you t- if you go to the bathroom and you see the number, take a picture of it, send it to us. We'll call them. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I don't know, they want like phone phone sex on the or something from the bathroom thing. The that that would be weird. But I think they would probably just be like uh uh, and then they'd hang up really fast once we said they were on TV. But we could just be like I s- I got your number from the bathroom. Yeah. Well, hey Mandy, you're back. When was the last time you were here? Oh, it's cook off. Uh huh. That was on the ninth, and today's the seventeenth. So it's been a little bit over a week. It's been a week and a day. That's not very long. Yeah. I'm doing pretty good at showing up. It seems like it's been a long time. The cook-off. I might like even I might even be willing to come back tomorrow. Oh wow! Like make it like a a twofer. Yeah. A, twofer. <laughs> <laughs> a double header. <laughs> wow. Consecutive, Mandy. Um, that, yeah. This, this, <laughs> I I was consecutive, Carl, at yeah, one point, and then I got Carl. like upgraded and somehow. You got super consecutive. <laughs> yeah. You're a permanent fixture. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> uh, what 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 happened in the week, Mandy? You see street stuff? Oh boy, I met uh this fine fellow in Thurston County here who has the distinction of being the third most frequent drunk in public person. Uh, how does he know? I'm not sure. I guess the cops told him that he was in third place. <laughs> well, why would they? That, they shouldn't <laughs> tell you that. Then he wants to make it to the top. Yeah. I yeah. bet there's a pretty big. Yeah, leak. and I heard that if you you're drunk enough, then they can't take you in because it's a risk. Mm-hmm. So he learned how to stay very drunk, so that they couldn't quite arrest him. Well, what do they do with you if you're too drunk to get taken? I think they just uh, 
leave you alone, or maybe take you to the ER, or maybe just give you a beer, or I don't know. <laughs> so there's, like, there's like a level, there's like a level, I mean, if, if you're, well, yeah, if you're passed out, but there's like, like, you can, you can be like a little, I mean, like, very literally drunk, maybe, you know, and you're walking around, right. but then, and then you're pretty drunk, and that's like when Like, drunk can, enough to be annoying is when they want to start taking you in, Yeah. Think, you know? So there's, there's, there's like, only like a Somebody's window. Somebody's complaining. Like an early, or like, uh between like yeah intoxicated window to like light to heavy and then extra heavy is is okay and light is okay. so you have to either be really drunk or not drunk so that's like the uh, the rules for being drunk in public yeah like, you're not drunk enough yeah like damn uh and how, how did you how did how did you know about his whole i I was just talking to him, and he started telling me his life story. I think he was drunk when we were talking. That's <laughs> yeah. why he was so open with me, um, <laughs> a stranger on the streets. But <laughs> You're just, like, doing something on the street, and you start talking? Yeah, basically. I like to start conversations with, like, different drunk, characters drunk sometimes. People. Yeah. And he's like, guess how he drunk I am. He was easy prey. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. Mm. <laughs> guess how drunk I am right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so drunk. Um, I don't know why we just tell everybody about that, but I think that sounds like a tall tale to me. Yeah, well, you know. Maybe he's a. Maybe that could be a category for next year's um, Cream of the County Awards. Most arrests? Most, for being drunk? most drunk in public. Oh boy. Or, but or, or like favorite town drunk. Most drunk in public arrests. Because I bet that, you know, the people who are actually the most drunk in public, they're probably. The people who are just drunk all the time. Right, right. Like, and they don't, they don't even get in trouble because they're so drunk that they've stopped being... Like, if you're getting drunk in public and getting in trouble for it, and then you're not that drunk. I mean, they're probably pretty drunk, but the people who are really drunk, they're drunk 24 hours a day, and you see them on the street and you can't even tell. They look, they're probably more put together than you are. They could be. <laughs> yeah. And those are the... Those are, they're not getting caught. I think people... Are you drunk right now, Kenny? <laughs> are you drunk I'm, all the time? Is I'm that what's really going on? on? <laughs> Guess how drunk I am right now. I am so drunk. Um, like the guy. <laughs> I've been arrested the most. I'm number I'm number one. That guy's number three. I bet there's a really big gap between two and three, though. Like, and then, like, it seems like, like one and two, there's, like, like, a huge gap, probably. And then I think the gaps probably get smaller. And I want to know if this is, like, third of the current... Like or ever. candidates, or like in the history of Thurston County, because a lot of them are probably I dead. Know, I should have asked some more questions. How are you getting your about stats these, about these <laughs> outrageous claims? And like what? What? Beat reporter for your daily hour with me yeah. wants to know. When the, cop, when, the, when the cops told them like that, well, well, uh, I should start doing a street segment for you. <laughs> Drunk people. You get to pull out your phone, um, probably. So they, it's like the cop when the cops arrested him. He's like, you again? You, you know, this you want. This is the 195th <laughs> yeah. time this year. You're you're like the third drunkest person we arrest out of those, not like the other two who are really. I'd hate to see what number one looks like. Yeah. Like, how, how many times can you get. I mean, is it a, is it a crime, right, to be drunk in public? I it guess? is. So, is this like probably just like a. Probably on par with speeding, I would think. Well, yeah, I don't think they like keep you in jail. I mean, they probably just keep you in long enough to sober up and then let you go. But they gotta charge you or like fine you or something. Otherwise, what would be the crime about it? Maybe they just made it a crime so that they can take you into jail. Or they put you on probation or something. Yeah. So like, like that's gonna make any difference. Seems like after you know, if you keep getting speeding tickets, that eventually it moves up in in crime level. Right. You lose your license if you don't pay. Then it gets really expensive. To get your license back. Um. I've seen a lot of drunken people in public too, like all the time. Just go down the like yeah, right now as we speak. They're all over. They're crawling all over the streets. So why why are the people who are getting? They they have to, I think they have, to, they have to be rowdy too. Well, or they're just drunk all the time, like you said, drunk every day. Yeah. Drunk in the street every day. But like that's uh, that's okay, right? I mean, it's okay with me, I guess, if they're walking around drunk. And, as but, long as they don't fuck with me, you know. Yeah, but are the people who are getting arrested? <laughs> Are they Don't steal my shit. Don't puke on my shoes. They're probably drunk and annoying or something. Right. They were harassing somebody. Did something to draw attention. 
I would think. Yeah, it's probably extra to like tell people. Or he's like, I'm drunk. Hey, please. Hey, hey please, stop. I'm so drunk right now. You can't catch me. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah, you can. I'm just trying to be a, if they need they want attention for being drunk. Right. You know, I, some I guess it's people want like negative attention to themselves. Get some positive attention. You can you can do a good thing. You don't need to be impress people with your uh, alcohol intake. Oh, this game again. We're playing the dice game, yeah. Somebody asked us what the name of the dice game was. I think it was yesterday, and we were making up words. It's we were just called calling it. the dice game. Yeah, that's what it's more descriptive. But they wanted us to call it like his something crazy. Uh, you, you ready? You got a number? I'm getting my number. You want, some of the, you want some of this food now that you looked at it? I was talking to you a little bit about it before. I'm good, thank All right. you, sir. You want to see this food, Carl? I got it from Panda Express. Yeah. You want to <laughs> take, a, take a look? Take awesome. a take a look. Mmm. Panda Express. There it is. That's what I'm eating. Num num. Pretty good. They only give you chopsticks if you ask for them. I got some though, but I'm eating with the fork. I'm just keeping the chopsticks for the future. Oh, oh, uh, oh, one, number one. one. Oh, I lost. Hey, in this bag right here is cassette tapes. Hey, cassette tapes. Yep. Look at that bag, too. It's got I know, a, isn't it a cool bag. Yeah, did somebody give you that for Christmas? No, it was at my parents' house. And I said, wow, that's a cool bag. It's got dogs Can you on it. I appreciate did that you bag. Know those kind of dogs? <laughs> what? I remember seeing one of those kind of dogs. Who? Uh, Laurel. Lauren, I remember that dog. I, I had a Boston Terrier. I think Lauren had one of those kind of dogs, if I remember. No, Lauren had an annoying little Shih Tzu. Oh, uh, in the neighborhood. That's our old friend. Me make a way back. Way back. Let's see him try to remember <laughs> like those dogs. Eighth grade back. <laughs> you know, I've seen those, those Shih Tzus in the past. Um, yeah, so out the street thing, that guy. He's just telling everybody. Uh, we got a message. Mm. Only one today. Boo. Boo, what, that's not enough Ooh, for you? Yeah. You're not happy with the amount of messages? Um, yeah, let's have a full program be about... All messages? I think one is good. I think it's totally fine that there's one. Yeah, I'm not Carl. Boo. What? I say, yeah, Carl. Well... Carl, shut well, up. Well, yeah, me. I'm, I'm not telling you to shut up. It's Pipe down. Me. Carl's telling Carl to shut up. So, Carl, shut up for the Carl that is Carl. Ooh. I know, I'm Yeah, that's your now. name. <laughs> Don't wear it out. That's your name. Don't wear it out. I'm you boring the board. Usually people, they say, that's, that's my name. Don't wear it out. But I'm telling you to not wear that's out your, your name. So <laughs> that's your name. So Mr. Wear Ginsu called. Yeah, he right? did. Here's, here's the message. Yeah. Mr. Ginsu called. So just call. a couple of an hour or two ago, I talked to you and Carl. And we're bullshitting. And what? Carl was, I was saying, what did you do today, Carl? Because I already knew the answer. And Carl says, well, I spent the day looking up at the sky. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> See, that's I already right. knew that answer. Um, but what he didn't tell you was that he smarted off to me oh, and knocked him out. No. And then he spent the next six, eight hours looking at the sky. Well, that's what I yeah, did, right? Yeah, yeah. So, just I, remember I that. that. Mr. Ginter sat there for two hours trying to think of a comeback. <laughs> well, yeah, it says 20 hours ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I sometimes... I think he's also implying that he's watching you during the day. Well, sometimes I don't really have uh, much of an idea to elaborate. Oh, what did you do today? You know, because there would be so many, so I like to say just one thing. Yeah. Uh, but Usually the one people... thing couldn't even come to mind, so... Usually people say no things, so they say nothing. Yeah. Um, that's all, yeah, what, what's up, looking at the sky? Uh, um, let's call Mr. Ginsu back here. Sometimes it could be falling on me, like, right about now. The sky? Well, that, yeah, there's rain. Uh, it seems to be, like, another Pineapple Express. Some sort of front coming from, uh, what's Hawaii. Pineapple Express? I don't even know from that movie. Oh. The movie, you know? Who knows? That's I know. Just in the movie, it's marijuana. They're preparing the marijuana. Well, uh, the meteorologists, though, call this. Did they say Pineapple Express? It's a weather thing? Yeah. I hadn't heard about the weather thing. You still looking at Craigslist? I'm still looking at Craigslist. 
Your call has been forwarded Uh-oh. to an automatic Ooh. voice message system. Three, oh, yay. six, la 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 Mr. Ginzo. We're calling you back um, 20 hours later. Call us back. You have about 45 minutes. Take your it. No. Yeah. Phone tag. Great. Well, here's a call for any producer to find out how the production is going. Yay. You see anything else? Are you looking on the personals or what? No, I'm trying to find a snowboard. Can they, don't they just give it to you at the, I'm at the place? Does that cost a lot? What? Just, they just have a snowboard at the at the a mountain. Yeah, I can rent it, but I'm, I don't want to do that anymore. Plus, I might be going to Idaho for a few days. Hey, In program. Idaho, I don't think I can rent one. Hey, Freddy. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm um, over at my family's house in Eastern Washington. We just sat down to watch an uh, old Groucho Marx movie, Horse Feathers. Wow, not the Marx Brothers, just Dr. Marx by himself? Oh, a little bit. Oh, yeah, and Zeppo, too. I like those movies. I've seen them before. Uh, well, I guess we'll, we'll, maybe we'll get this over with faster than how's the production going. Yeah, I'll, I'll get back to it, but I'll, I'll, I'll fill you in real quick. Um, yeah, how, see, things are going pretty good. I saw a bunch of car accidents on the way over here. Whoa. Wow. Four separate I cars all so. in different. Two of them looked like they had run into the middle dividers, and like one was in the, um, like in the the deep spot between uh, the two freeways, and one was like up up right on off the side of the uh, road up on a hill. It was pretty crazy. Were most of these accidents on on the pass? Yeah, some of it was snow, but I, you know I think people were. But it's not being careful, probably. Well, yeah, everyone, you, uh, all these d- drivers in the Pacific Northwest, they've driven in the snow just like one time, and that one time is when they get in an accident. Yeah, well, it's, you shouldn't be driving in the snow. Right. I guess you I've made gotten it. in a couple accidents in the snow. Wow. Well, me too, but I was never T boned or rear ended or whatever. All right, well, hey, Fred, we'll let you get back to your family. Oh, okay. Well, uh, you got something to say. You want to keep? You can keep, you can keep I talking to us. Hear the program. I, I, yeah, I don't have too much more to say, I guess. But um, you know, everything's going pretty good. Um, I I thought of a. Um, oh, no, never mind. I'll, I'll talk about this when I get back. But um, I I think we got to find a DJ still for the dance or dance. I'm going to look for one of those. I don't know. I don't know if we have anything set for that or if anyone has any ideas, but I might try to call one of the people at chaos, one of the chaos DJs and get them to be, um, a DJ for dance or dance. Other than that, I think production is going about the same, but very good. Right. Oh, if wait, do you want to recap what happened yesterday with the, like, I got your message about the fact that it was something was wrong oh, with yeah. it, but I didn't, the, uh, the is tape, it the audio tape, all there, or no, and it, it was all staticky? It's taped, right? taped all crazy, and we were doing it late at night, and uh, uh, the tape just didn't really record, but it made some crazy kind of patterns and stuff, and that's it. We just we, we did the whole hour, and it happened, but it didn't really make it to tape, so it's okay. Oh, okay. So it, the 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 speaking and all of that stuff, none of that. Is, it's just it nothing. Was, it's just not- crazy. So I wonder what I said yesterday that I could say again today. Oh yeah. That, um, um. I I know I talked to you guys. Oh yeah, I remember I was really excited to hear from you guys, and the first thing I said was, "Finally!" And then Kirsten was talking to you guys. Oh, you, you were talking about some sort of parking thing. Somebody was, uh, like six or eight parking things on their windshield. Oh yeah, tons of, that person got a lot of parking tickets, uh, and then I remember we were talking about the 12th man truck and, oh, and gosh, the, yeah. how wild That's it is right. to have all the uh, Seahawks things and um, right, know, they, everyone. Pipe yourself mind, into the hive mind, roof for the Seahawks. Know, people could dress 
Nine, don't like to match eight, or you know dress seven, the same as other people. Six, like if you five, if you went and tried to four, get like all eight, the people in Washington. Two, to, uh, hey, it's info time. To, now it's info oh. time. Uh, here are our answers to some frequently asked questions about the program you're experiencing it right now. It's called Your Daily Hour with me. It's a hyper live hour long call television talk show on the radio that's recorded in Thurston County every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, 366 on leap years. YDHWF began September 19, 2010. Tapes a week in advance, or you're watching this on TV on Channel 22 at 11 30 p.m. or listening on Koa. Low Power FM 106.5. This episode taped the same weekday of the previous week. If you're watching this at 2 a.m., this episode taped the same day of the month of the previous year. You can also watch any episode of the program at YouTube.com. Anyone can come on the program, especially you. We rely on the community for content, so give us a call at 360-836-4384. Leave a message. We'll call you back on the next episode. Thank you for tuning in, and now back to the program. Yeah. So if you tried to take everyone in Washington and give them a, uh, like, dress code and say, you guys all have to wear the same clothes, and everyone Ooh. would be like, we already no do. way, hell no, I'm not going to wear a dress code. That's <laughs> bullshit. You can't tell me what to wear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't and owe me. I now, own myself. Have the Seahawks and the 12th Man Store have, without having to convince anyone or tell anyone what to do, have got the majority of Washington wearing the same uniform. And it's yeah. bullshit. You know? It's like pretty it's totally weird. weird. It's bullshit. It's expected at my work and I just, I rebel. I wear red. Okay, I well, wear yeah. Good random for you. stuff that doesn't, even if I would have worn blue and green that day, I'll pick out some color I don't usually wear just because I feel like, you know, football's okay, but that's how it is. I don't have yeah. to freaking act like it's patterning your whole life around it yeah i mean if i just want to wear like a cute outfit that has nothing to do with the seahawks i don't care if it's a blue friday i'm gonna wear whatever i want yeah oh yeah blue friday and restaurants and stuff i I go to a restaurant and then everybody's wearing their 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 thing i'm like where is your uh other thing i'm trying to feel like a jehovah's witness right like, I'm oh, yeah. like, I don't <laughs> celebrate Seahawks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm at a restaurant being served by an entire team of football players. Yeah. Yeah, what's with us? Like, where and they I? look like they're, yeah. We're 75%. They're the ones who sit on the bench. <laughs> the 75% can end up with um, head injuries um, at the oh, end yeah, of the I'll game. Oh, that's okay. That's okay, though. The head injuries are <laughs> Fair enough. I'm okay with people wanting to get head injuries by themselves. I'm... I think it's just, uh, <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to go back to the, the Gretchen at Mark's movie, but uh, thanks for calling your program. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty wild. Today I actually saw a guy wearing, a, like, a I think he had a cowboy's hat. And I was almost like, whoa! Ah. <laughs> I thought about it. Like I didn't definitely didn't say anything, but the thought it did cross my mind. Yeah, it's starting to it's starting to infiltrate your brain too. But maybe even just like <laughs> I was gonna like warn him to be like, look out, somebody's gonna try to jump you. Just like, but I don't really know. They they might make it, but I think I was talking about this yesterday that I'm actually a little bit afraid. Like I want the Seahawks to win, but only because I don't want to see what would happen if if they lose. Like I'm 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 afraid for my personal safety a little bit. So hopefully they do good just for the sanity of the community. Uh, yeah. Yep. Well, that's all the me- messages and stuff that we had today, all the phone calls we had planned out. So now we're going to be using our wits here. We're going to try to talk about something, or maybe we'll call McDonald's or something. Terrific. Well, thanks on the on the phone. Did you see anything exciting there yet? No. On yeah. the phone? No, I was just doing even. On this phone? Uh, no, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm talking <laughs> to you. There's a lot of exciting shit going on on I'm this phone. Talking, right? yeah, I'm talking that you're on the phone then. I'll well, them. you know, like, yeah, I've got multiple, like, possible deals going down. So I'm really dialed into this whole thing. But oh, you're, you're like, making the deals right now. But you're I just heard from the one I was most excited about, which is somebody who will set me up with everything, basically, from all the stuff they have at their little shop for 100 bucks. Yeah. Gloves like too? a mix and match, like they're gonna put it together for me. So gloves you're, you're too. It? I already, have, I already have gloves, and so I just need my, my boots, my yeah. board, and my bindings. 
And this person has, I guess, they've got like a chop shop for <laughs> snowboards or something. Hmm. Snowboarding seems scary. It is. I hurt myself pretty bad last time. I fell on my rib and it's still bruised and it still hurts. Oh. And I have to take ibuprofen to run. I didn't take any ibuprofen until... You're going to uh, go back? Because I don't like to take anything. Yeah, that's good. You're gonna and, go but I took anyway. it so that I could run. Because I, I couldn't run at all for like 10 days. Yeah, I guess it's okay to be to be into snowboarding, but you know they say if you if you experience negative consequences from a thing and then you go back to it anyway, that's uh, that's insanity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty much most things that I do. Like I shop until I'm broke, I eat until I'm fat, mm -hmm. I drink until I'm drunk, I run until I hurt myself, I snowboard until I break a rib, well. I show up on cable access shows until I ruin my reputation. <laughs> like, <laughs> boo, and the reputation. No. Everything. Yeah. Well, party, you know, roll till the wheels fall off. That's my story. I, I'm, I sure <laughs> I've been on the program for like thirty or sixty, or sixty-eight straight days, or probably. however, and m my reputation isn't ruined yet. In Pretty fact, sure. it's probably been enhanced. Yeah. <laughs> and you I'm can do this more too. of the talk of the town now for a variety of reasons. <laughs> hey, did you figure out what Carl? Did you see what Carl did? I was saw on the street. You know, well, you maybe like, didn't have a, like, a reputation at all, and now it's up to something. Oh, I don't know. If I'm boring, I'm bored. What? Why do you keep saying that to us? Well, because I'm boring, or oh, I'm yeah. bored. To a certain degree, I, you know, it's like, eh, I don't got a whole lot going on. You know, it's like, meh. Meh? Meh. What's meh? Everything? Life? Oh, no, not not life. And, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I... I I um I do have goals and aspirations on, on Oh yeah, like what? Well, like moving to um uh unfortunately I talked about this on the program yesterday. Oh, yesterday yeah. And you know, about me moving to um um Rainier. Rainier or Yelm. Well, being closer to a of a potential employer. Yeah, I don't know why you think that these people are going to employ you, though. So. Well, and, uh... Don't, don't shit on the street. <laughs> well, I'm being realistic. No, the idea... Yeah, I'm being realistic. No, it's fine. I, I like open feedback, I guess. Yeah. But, um... Well, this is the story. You know the story, man. I, I, well, the, uh... The, no, the, there's, um... Uh, so there's a rocket mass heater that is manufactured in like rural part of Thurston County and a rocket mass heater is like a more efficient way of burning wood and so if I like to practice what I preach um, but you don't, that's what I said yesterday, I don't think you do boo, I don't think you of course practice I do you preach. I know you don't <laughs> boo <laughs> well boo. you don't, you don't boo you pre you pre you're preaching boo. all this like no driving stuff and well, um, I walked like here. Animal stuff, and I just thought you. I, that, that I love the before. animals. Yeah, kind of, but I, I yeah, you drive kinda. here. Kinda. I don't. I don't go out of my way to eat animals. <laughs> I like to drive, and I hate animals. <laughs> sometimes I even hit animals. Um, it sounds like you practice what you preach. <laughs> anyway. I really don't think you, you do too much, Carl. But but that's okay. It's okay with me to not do that. But <laughs> um, well, that's okay with you, maybe. But it is okay with me. That's what I just said. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, the, yeah, I could say, hey, I, you know, reached another another level on my life of trying to attain a goal. When you preach a lot, it's hard to practice. Practice. Exactly. Yeah. Well. Or you can just preach like a really low level, yeah. so that you don't have much to like live up to. Yeah, that's what I or do, I pretend that you're not a <laughs> pastor when you are, or I don't know. Right. Pretend that you are past. Well, if you pretend you are, you're <laughs> yeah. not. Then if that's. If you practice what you preach, you probably never mind. Too much. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I I have no qualms or complaints. But so you you're you found this company right in in. Yeah, well, uh, online, I did. Uh, um, uh, Google searching, and I had the opportunity to actually ask one of my friends, uh, and I kind of passed up on asking him um, at at uh, uh, a group that I host Did they at respond? Evergreen State College. No, no, I totally forgot to what ask. What kind of group were you hosting out there? Oh, um, Asperger's. Nice. So, um, uh. 
There's probably a fair amount of students at Evergreen. Uh, well, th- uh, that they, th- uh, we um, are on. Um, I think we're the, the the group is on meetup.com, and so people can do like a keyword search of Asperger's or whatever. But I think we were talking about the Asperger's we yesterday. I was going to ask you about what low what group the, what the symptom or you call it symptoms of, of Asperger's. Is. I've done a lot of reading on Asperger's kind of recently because of somebody that I knew. Yeah. And I was trying to better understand exactly what was going on. I said, I, oh, something What was that? Um, a fork. A fork. You a broke a fork. Uh. Here we go, playing the, the next dice game halfway through the program. Here it goes. It's my lucky day. Oh. <laughs> One again. One Shit. and. One. One. Well, really? Triple ones? Yeah, triple one. Triple one. Triple well, one. I don't have a one. Wait, it's two ones. <laughs> it's snake eyes. What's three? What's three ones? Uh, try cops. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's a three thing? Oh, sorry. Try uh, three different triclopses all at once. That would be a cyc- three cyclops. Uh, that would be nine. Oh, uh, good grief. I'm not doing that head math in my head. Well, it's just three times no, three. No, sir. Well, nine, but... Uh, I did the math already. You don't assi- have to do it. Well, yeah, but trying to assign the name to, like, triple of triclopses or... Uh, it's called three triclopses. Uh, try saying that five times fast, Three viewers. triclopses, three triclopses, Say it three triclopses. five times fast. Three triclopses. Right, three triclopses, three triclopses, three triclopses, three triclopses, three triclopses, three triclopses. Yeah, I did it. I think. Three triclopses. Uh, Probably. Try triclopses. Never mind. What are you gonna What are you gonna do with this with the stove people? So you found them? Oh yeah. On, on, online. Uh, f- my, my, so my friend was like. Uh, Mass murders meetings. Yeah, uh, two years ago. Hey, uh, there's a a better way of heating your. Um, this was two years ago. Yeah, you're heating your place uh, um, with wood, and it was like, oh yeah, what's that? Um, in some sense, I don't know if I asked him or pressed him or he just continued to give out information, <laughs> and the, the, the way to heat your uh, house in a more efficient manner would be through a rocket stove mass heater and um, it would be like uh, oh wow that's pretty cool you can you know you think, uh, you think build wood, wood efficiency is a problem oh um, well yeah it definitely is if you the, there's been two comparisons a uh, uh, conventional wood stove or a, a fireplace you know with the the bar to kind of have the wood raised up from the brick um, and this rocket mass heater and uh, you uh, would burning uh, four to six cords of wood um, or two thirds of a cord of wood with a rock, rocket mass heater and even if it's not just like two thirds of a cord but one and a half you know in Washington state or you know uh, northern Alaska, maybe it would be two cords. I, I would rather want to burn two cords rather than ten cords of wood. You know, to heat a place. Whatever. Well, of course, you're you're lucky to have electric heat. But some people are not, or some people well, that if, they if they can't they would, afford electric heat, they probably can't afford this fancy stove. Well, the, the, they can't probably afford any stoves at all. Yeah. All right. Well. But uh, um, if you, uh, uh, on the other hand, um, the purchase of a stove is a one-time thing, and over the course of uh, a year, you would actually be saving money in terms of heating your house with the wood, yeah, even with an upfront that. cost of buying the wood stove. But um, so two two years ago, your friend yeah. told you about these stoves. Yeah. And uh, like three, two and a half weeks ago, I figured out that there was a, 
uh, rocket mass heater manufacturer in um, either Rainier or Yelm. Yeah. And one of my friends like actually. Two of them, or you're not sure which one it is. Um, they they have two different addresses on their website. It's okay. not really clear. They could <laughs> the the friends could be from Yelm, and they found a, a shop in Rainier to manufacture stuff out of. I don't know. Uh, but, um, or they could be friends from Rainier and they have a shop in Yelm. Or someone could be from, from Rainier. There, there, there's essentially two guys and maybe the um, company has grown to three or uh, five more employees. Who knows? Mm-hmm. But I, I look at the website uh, saying something that, hey, this can be improved upon. You know, they say that they're shipping internationally, but they only have an English language. Of course, you said yesterday, and rightfully so, that people can use Google Translate. No, that's all you said. Tra- I, my, what I think is that people from other countries, they don't look at the same website as you at all. They don't need to use Google Translate. Like, if there's an international website... Well, I, I guess country. I could figure out a way of like uh, most websites spoofing. you go to don't just like have a big list of languages. Well, yeah, I mean, I could certainly spoof my IP address and and figure out if that's true. Yeah. Uh, but um, no, I anyway um, that they have uh, uh, their website is based upon WordPress, and WordPress really is a nice way to kind of develop. Uh, an online presence, especially if you're a teenager or you don't want to do too much web design. But yeah. w- w- when you're uh, getting to be a manufacturer that's shipping overseas, um, and it's less and less um, good, I guess, from um, uh, a, a distribution or selling sa- standpoint. So, but you want to be their web person? Or, yeah, or figure out, you know... Do they even have a web person? Well... Uh, you want to start a new... You want to, like... You're trying to act with you're like, you guys need a web person, and I want to be that web person. Well... Now, th- that's the one you're going to... You're dropping your Synchronistically, I graduated from the Art Institute of Seattle in graphic design and uh, haven't really used too much of that craft. I'm yeah, actually trying to use more of that craft now, um... In, in terms of like being productive with art now and synchronistically I guess things are, are you know there's a path for me I to kind of walk. I think creating the path is not really a synchronistic if you're well, creating yeah, yourself. Yeah I could be creating the path it could just be American American ingenuity you know but anyway uh, I have a I ha- also have a friend that would like to live in a rural pl- place or a rural lo- location and mm-hmm. so I have been discussing with her since October whether or not uh, she would rather move. You're going to um, move with a woman to the county? To yes. The fa- or to the, the farm land? Yes, basically. And be a web designer in the, in the farm land? <laughs> yes, like, basically. If you're the web designer, why do you even need to move? Right? Can't you just do the web designing from home? Well, the, uh, I'm sure that they would want me to be more local. That's the point. Uh, what makes you think that? Well, um, <laughs> employers, honestly, I, I think that most employers would just want people to be local. I, but if, they, if you're going to, like, you don't, they don't need, a, like, a full-time web designer at this, like, stove company. Well, they don't. <laughs> they don't, but it would it would give me certainly a change of pace, you know, yeah, rather than to be home all day long. Yeah, I, it would be nice, but I just, I'm... Yeah. You might be idealizing Rainier just a little bit. Just keep in mind oh, like, sure. what, what you're thinking it could be like. Yeah. It's probably a lot worse because it's Rainier. Well, I, I can imagine drunkards And you on might the find yourself driving into town a lot. I can imagine just, like, cobwebs on street light posts and drunkards in the street just like what downtown no, no but the thing is the, yeah there's gonna be nobody in the street not oh. even the drunkards like oh. it's gonna be like well that's like, good though boring well <laughs> yes um um i would uh, i would rather like to have like little to no street activity rather yeah. than to have nine um eight. 
Seven, Black Lake Boulevard six, was busy five, again today four, as I drove home. Three, it was crazy. Two, now it's time for commercial break. Uh, uh, coming up tomorrow night. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, guess what? You were, yes, we are. And someone's going to the Super Bowl. Oh, no, wait, that's all, I, that's all we're talking about today. The whole time we're going to do it. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I love no, you don't. touching pigskin. Uh, it's it's so intoxicating. We awesome. 11:30 p.m. and 2 a.m. on Channel 22. Tune in. 360-836-4384. But leave us alone, cause. I gave your number out today to my roommate. By the way, my call. Oh yeah. Sweet. We're, we're, we'll be waiting. I usually try to get people to watch the show, too, if they're going to call. Right, I don't think she's ever... She's never seen it. I told her about it. I told her it's on YouTube. Uh-huh. She might call and leave a random message. Watch... T- t- I have her watch it on YouTube. But she may not. Well, hopefully it's going to be a little bit <gasps> more informative. Because people, people who always call without knowing what the show is, they always try, try to ask yeah. about the show, and I always say, to watch it. Right. And then they say, well, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, and no. th- there, there was one person that... that Called into the program just to be breathing. The breather? Thank yes. You. No, the breather turned out to be Angry Steve. Who's oh. Angry Steve? Oh boy. Oh, Ang- Angry Steve is. <laughs> he's just the guy who likes to call in and just go. He goes like. Ah! But, yeah, he does that, but, but then he, and then eventually he starts just saying like dirty things for its own sake. Yeah, and but being like like trying to offend. You think he has Tourette's? We, no, I think he's just, uh, <laughs> he's just in, an he's an, yeah. yeah. Uh, recently though, he he kind of mellowed out. So no, he didn't. He's he's a um. The last. He, I, I think he's. Bi- last, I, mean, I think he's bipolar. Oh uh, well. Yeah. He, uh, yeah. Rapid he could, cycling. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I also think he's just calling because he. I mean, he's nice when you meet him. Of course, he's gonna be nice because Dan met this guy at the bar. And of course, it's gonna be nice. So he's like not gonna be like me. He's just calling in. and He just wants to be, uh, make a, make a scene on TV. He's not like, gonna be like a crazy person in public. When you see the guy, he's not gonna start going off on the thing. He's on the phone. So he well, has more of an open freedom to be crazy. Borderline people and and whatever else kind of scare me because I don't know how I'm supposed to react in the right way. Yeah, to I mean, person, he's, he's just like playing on the phone, basically. You know, uh, for this person to go off like a stick of dynamite. Well, you know, it's like, what the fuck? But yeah, I think watching them go off is part of the fun. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like, up. Oh, it seems fun. Go. It seems fun, but then he just starts getting kind of personal, personally offensive on purpose. And but then you have to shrug that off too and but say, I mean, but "That's just your opinion." <laughs> well, as long as he's not physically here in the studio, it can't get dangerous. No, it's not. No. It's not that it's dangerous. I feel like we should call him right now. It's just not. It's just not very fun. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it could be fun. Uh, watch can the we episode. Call him? You can. No, you can see the. You can see no, the. No, he he. Whenever he calls, he always blocks his phone number or something. Oh, so he's just kind of a random like. It just gets repetitive. And then, I, I mean, I do ask him about it, and then, you know, since he's just making things up. Like, I don't even like people to make things up at all that much. Unless it's, you know, it's a joke. <laughs> but yeah. if they start saying these things, and it's like for a long time, then I start asking them about it. It's not really, like, talking or co- conversating, you know? It's just like, ah, bah, like, like a, like a, a force. Like, how, how, how much I'm is I'm a force to go be reckoned yeah. with. Like oh, really? Yeah, okay. He's trying to win, too. Like, he's got something to prove. Yeah. Yes. Huh. He's got something to prove, and I don't want him to prove it. And I already believe him. So don't you need to prove yourself? Semi I believe you. Cranky pants. Yeah. Kind of. Say I believe guy. you. So I call. As, as those people, have they called you back? Are they going to call? Or have you contacted them yet? Or you're still planning on? No. Uh, I um have a friend that wants to uh help me develop a cover letter. Uh huh. And so, yeah. Um, and then you're just going to email them and just be like, hey, I want to work for you. And they don't have like a. They're not asking for people to work for them or anything. You're just well, like, they. I have a proposition for business proposition. Well, they really haven't. But don't, don't most web designers 
does it work for everybody or like work for many people and not just like for a single company and like well they they could they could but um with the, the great thing about this is that since i like the idea so much that you know i could work as a, a designer maybe from home but then you know uh on another day of the week or two or three days of, out of the week i could show up and say hey um i'm here to you know do arc welding or whatever else have you ever welded welding. well no i haven't <laughs> i haven't but they are there are cl classes that one can take at south Puget sound you know everything well, you has a cost Attributed you don't want to, to, but you can't get into welding. I know you're. You, you think you're. I mean, I wouldn't want to weld just because it's dangerous. And don't you think? You don't want to do anything dangerous. Yeah, I don't want to do anything dangerous. It's true. I don't know why anybody would want to do anything dangerous. Isn't that like well, part of the work? Well, bandy snowboards. Yeah, that's dangerous. It bro. is, and I don't think it's a good idea. Uh. Well, honestly, but I don't know why. You <laughs> 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 oh man. Well, like, uh, why, why, why would you do dangerous things? It's like in the name, or like. <laughs> well, I, I could cue. Because uh, it's isn't fun it? to almost die. Yeah, people it, are. Is, is I do dangerous things badly too. Like everything that I do that's dangerous, I'm not very good at it. So like. Uh, <laughs> I could cue. Uh, what is it? Uh, I guess I'm not. I I'm not a thrill seeker. A lot. <laughs> I could cue an Aerosmith song. What is it? Living on the edge. Yeah, don't live on the edge. Why well, get, get Hey, well, Steven Tyler apparently Why are you so does. close to the edge? Get off the edge, it might fall over. Like why uh, right? Uh, well, he that's uh, living. as long as he that's creeps living. up to it but doesn't step over that line. Live far away from any edges. <sighs> uh I'm not I guess but I, I'm not I a like pro. I like natural disasters. Yeah. I like to be close to uh just like you know, like well, bad you're things happening. I like to witness stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. I like, I mean, not like bad, but like, you know, like if there's a shootout, I want to be like close enough to see yeah. it and not close enough to get hurt. I'm that just not a thing. thrill seeker. I'm thrilled enough. Well, the uh, <laughs> you, you're close enough to Puget Sound, which is a corner of of an edge of, of Oh, water. no, I think if you live pretty close to the ocean, then you're like the farthest away from edges you're going to get. <laughs> really, I mean, I, there's a hill. Uh, I could roll down a hill, but that's not really an edge. That's like... Um, it's 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 a slow slow drop. I don't know. I guess there are some edges I could fall off of. Maybe I could fall on the Maybe stairs. you already fell off the edge, and that's why you don't need to anymore. I'm already off. I'm already in. Yeah, the, I'm already, already dead. I guess. Right? Really off the off the edge. <laughs> I'm already dead. I'm already off the edge. <laughs> fell it off a long I fell off the edge a long time ago, but I made it. I guess. Well, um, at, at least you're not Haley Joseph Osmond in Six Cents. What? Uh, he, uh, the, he, the, um, he oh, keeps you, you, on seeing dead people. Oh, spoilers. Um, anyway, never mind. That's uh, uh, neither here. It's all neither here nor there. But you know, it's I, uh, I, I have ideas that I want to tap into, and and so th they want to hire in in spring. They do. They oh, they do want to hire though. They're looking for a web designer or what? Well, th th they're they're looking to hire. This That's what I asked. Are you willing to hire? And they said yes. And my response. Oh, you was, already talked to them then. Yeah, um, through uh, Facebook Messenger, which some people say that Facebook is real life, not just you, but someone else. And you know, th there's they say a, it's not not real life. Yeah. And there's a growing collection of people that well, kind of I mean, call it's a real, Facebook. It's it's an actual. You're actually communicating with somebody, probably. Yeah, but Not the, for the most how how way. people like friend or unfriend each other mm -hmm. is like it's not that this They're is not, not your real, real friend. Life. Yeah, uh, but you know things are all good, I guess, in one capacity or another. I, I, uh, I'm looking forward to. Uh, well, it's good to have future. goals, I guess. Yeah. Maybe. Well, that's what Actually, my father says. Actually, I usually says. say goals are selfish. So Don't when I, goals. I told... Goals are selfish? Yeah. Well... That's what I usually say when people ask goals. me about goals. It's good to be a little bit selfish sometimes. Yeah. I, I told my father about the soul shebang, finally, and... Uh, what, my the, mom was like, this? I don't even know where you meet these people. That was what my mom the said. The web design thing? Uh, and the person I want to move in with. But oh, my yeah, dad was kind of like... Your call has been forwarded uh, to an automatic voice message system. Well, well, no. Oh, okay. I thought we were calling McDonald's. Who do you... Who, who, who you? Oh, uh, this is a peer from CRC. 
Oh yeah, is that? Are you supposed to be doing that when you're with sure. your Sure. Well, we're consenting adults. Yeah, but is that like in the the, the guidelines of of your program or whatever? I I can't uh, room in with uh, my peer, my, my counselor. Oh yeah. You know that that's but the it, it, conflict of interest there, but there's no conflict of interest. Um, people need the counseling. Is this a good counselor? idea to be at the same place? Oh, uh, Terry. Uh, it's time for the final oh, dice yeah, game. Oh, yeah, that's right. I knew I was about to get up for some sleep. reason. Uh. 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 McDonald's America? Hey, McDonald's. You guys have... The, Excuse me? You guys have any of those holiday pies left over? No. Uh, what, what, what you got right now? Excuse me? What kind of pies do you got right now? What you what what? What kind of pies are there now? I can I can hear you. Okay. <laughs> the fourth floor. Unbelievable. Oh, hello. I think, hello. Oh, I think you heard Carl uh, giggling. Uh, 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 hello. Hello. You heard Carl uh, giggling uh, and hung uh, up. Hello. Uh, hello. wow, lots of ones, <laughs> huh? What is it? What? Yeah, four ones. Four, ones uh, four ones, ones and two threes. You have a three? No. Uh, no? no. Nope. <laughs> nope. Everybody lost. Everybody lost. I have Losers. a two. I have a two. What did you have? I play a four every goddamn time oh, and I've never won once. Oh, four? Uh, I think those dice are rigged and there is no four. You can take a look at it. I want to check this out. One well, of these. This is just is like mathematically of impossible. Trick dice? It's like fours never come I bet. Out. I mean, dice. I would say don't pick a four, but then when you do, There's a four it'll on win. That dice. Or maybe. There's a four on that one. Trick dice? There's a four. You could try to roll them four. a bunch of times, but. Four. I don't know. You know I think that. it's a good Look idea to keep coming back. That's what we'll never see. I would, I would say... <laughs> oh, this camera is not working. I want to show, yeah, I wanna show it. what flip it's going it. to look like when I win. How do I flip it? Over there. Carl, Carl can show you. Flip me. This is Mandy's dream. Dice roll. All fours. It hasn't happened it's to the forget. perfect roll. I'm pretty sure fours have won. The perfect roll. At some no, point. Not, not when I've been on the show. Yeah. It's like they just go away when I when I come on the show. They're, they exist. Oh, another message. Beep. Hey, McDonald's, it's the program. You can call us back. You only have about six minutes today. The number is 360-836-4384. Uh, I want to know what kind of, kind of pies you guys got, what kind of eggs are in the pies. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they're going to make that a high priority. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's call this guy. <laughs> He's looking for muffled sounds, sounds of... <laughs> <laughs> they, they've never called back. I've left messages from McDonald's and never called back. That's why you need to lie and like say, this is your probation officer. Oh, yeah. I need to speak with you. You should just start trying to be the web developer for other websites. Or maybe, why don't you... Hey, McDonald's, you guys got those holiday pies still? Huh? Do you guys or have to have the holiday, why don't you be the holiday a pies? Web developer for the program. I'm sorry, it's closed already. Duh. Oh, okay, There's thank you. One. It's it's Freddy. Yeah, well, I mean, if you if you made a one that was better, we would take it. What about yeah? I think you should start making the website for the the, the company, the stove company. Yeah. Make the website, and then try to sell it to them. Or buy their domain, buy a domain with their name. Well, it, the, they got a domain already. <laughs> But make their website and then sell stuff. But who uses websites anymore anyway? Like, I don't know. Almost ever use webs. I, I use, like... Are they asking for this? Or you're just thinking no, you're going to offer them this? No, they're not asking for it, but... Like, I use, I use like, services. On, like, I, if, I'm, if I'm looking for a place, you know, I look at, uh, with, like, uh, right. Google searching. And, and then they, or, like, they tell me about the thing on, like, the whatever, like, a multi-page thing. Like, I don't go to anybody's, like, individual web page anymore. Like yeah. almost ever. Sometimes, though. Cause some of them are... If they're really good and they have good information. Yeah. Uh, Alright, well... 
good luck with that. Keep telling us about that. You gotta keep us up here. Up yeah. Oh, uh, sure. Okay. Uh, it's a it's a goal worth going towards, if that makes sense. Something uh, to attain. Cause it's something to look forward to. There's yeah. Nothing in the future. Well, uh, the the reason that I'm 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 friends with this person is because. I keep on watching so her person? animals, and she likes my stable, emotional demeanor. <laughs> well, that's a Sounds bad. Like Although time. sometimes I, I get like yeah. somewhat sad. <laughs> yeah, so if they like your stable, emotional demeanor. You might want Which to tell is kind of like somewhat a facade. Dubious. Yes, a facade. Did it's they, they it's just window dressing. Emotional? I'm really sad all the time. Well, well, <laughs> if it's that, I mean that's stable. Well. Yeah, maybe I don't know. It's just hey, guys, oh. Oh. oh, oh, what? Hey, M M McDonald's, do you guys have those holiday pies? Or Excuse me. Do you have any holiday pies left over? <laughs> yeah. They can hear you laughing. I think they hear you giggling. I think it's a joke. Well, <sighs> sorry. Well, don't be sorry. I, I'm Tell not sorry. sorry. You find I'm Carl. I cannot be your, sorry. Because I'm already area? Carl. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Don't wear your own name out. I am already worn out. See, I'm, I'm sitting on the couch. I'm tired. Yeah. I'm relaxing. Take it, take it back. Take, kick back a little bit. Yeah. You, buy, you buy a snowboard yet? You make any, uh, uh, I think I got like two possible deals going down tomorrow depending on, you know, like... Which which one? I'm either going to end up driving up to this little shop with all these different possible setups, or I'm going to meet this other chick when she gets off work and buy her board. One of those two. If the shop thing doesn't go through, I'm going to buy this one other mm. board. i got to have multiple options going on here, because last time I thought I found a really good deal, and I was about ready to leave to go get it, and then they're like, oh, surprise, just kidding, I sold it to my coworker, and I'm like, oh, cool. Thanks for getting me all excited. Over See, nothing. <laughs> you're gonna have to snowboard, start snowboarding a lot once you get your snowboard done. Mm, yeah, it'll just be nice to have one, so that when I can go, I can just go. Mm -hmm. When are you moving? Moving or going to Idaho? Next month, and it's not for sure that I'm gonna go. Oh, for snowboarding in Idaho though. Well, it's kind of coinciding with another life event of mine that uh -huh. it's gonna be kind of difficult to say for sure if I'm going to make it this time, but it's part of my my plan. Are you going to the, the regular snowboarding places, like with a, or are you going to like just like the mountains, or like the places where they like lift you up and in the, in the ski lifts and stuff? Yeah. The lodge? Yeah. You ever see anybody fall down real hard on the ski? People on the fall snow? down all the time. You see it? I, I saw myself fall violently like oh, three yeah. times in a row. How, That's how, how I that broke my rib. When you hurt your rib? I got going a little too fast for my skill level and I I started thinking I was One cool and then I went up and then I got going too fast and I fell and then I like, I like pretended that didn't happen so I got right back up and I fell <laughs> really hard again. On the same spot? No, like one time I fell like I think I think I landed on my back and the wind was knocked out of me pretty bad. But it's just landing on the snow, right? It's just softer. No, it was pretty hard. Huh. You yeah. see anybody get like like unconscious or anything? I or? saw somebody on a stretcher when I got there and I saw somebody on a stretcher <laughs> as I was leaving. And you won anyway. When usually I wasn't either one of them. If thank you see God. somebody on a stretcher, it's a sign <laughs> to to leave. That means like, oh, that man. means fun ahead. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get out of there. where the stretchers are coming All from. Right. Well, thanks, You're uh, gonna have a good time. <laughs> it's the end of the show. Thanks, Mandy. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Carl. Nine, thanks, uh, Freddie. Eight, You're welcome. Seven, and uh, six, McDonald's. McDonald's. Five, four, three, Mr. Ginsu. Two, Oh yeah, can't forget him. Episode number and date and day of the week. Thank you. Is that, is that everybody? McDonald's, Freddie, Mr. Ginsu, that everybody we talked to? TCTV channel 22. Mandy. 11.30 to 2 a.m. Oh, I said that. Yes. YDWN.com. Check it out online. Did you mention Carl? I think so. 360-836-1384. Crew, you want on the crew? I think, is Mandy on the crew? Uh, yeah, there you are, Randy. Yeah, spelled, yeah, wrong. Uh, spelled wrong with a Y, but it's, <laughs> is it? Yeah, UFO FBI. Yeah.
GCTV, the Crystal Ball, La Bay Bay, Jordan E, Babo, some people Durson say County, Washington State, USA. Thank you. Tomato, others say tomato. So is that not about spelling name? No. Hell yeah, dog! <laughs> <laughs> woof woof. Bye bye.